It's the semantic. You find crochet tutorials. It's the semantic. For your favorite superhero. It's the semantic. Let me make your awesome card home to court. It's the semantic. American English doesn't have to be a bore. It's the semantic. With semantics and semantics and more. It's the semantics. Hi guys, it's Samantha Goodhart with thesemantics.com and thesemantics.etsy.com. Thank you for joining me for part one of my tutorial on how to crochet the Captain America logo. Now, for this, I used the impeccable yarn, but for the tutorial, I'm going to be using the Loops Threads Charisma yarn. And the reason is because with the Charisma yarn, it's thick and soft, and it works up much more quickly than impeccable or something that's thinner yarn. So for this one I had to use a 4mm crochet hook, but for this, in the video, I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. And you can use whatever yarn you'd like, obviously, and whatever hook matches it. So, for this video in particular, you're only going to need your white yarn and whatever crochet hook you're using. And that is basically it. So thank you very much for joining me and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is create a magic circle. And then we're going to single crochet five times inside of the circle. Tighten it up, and we're going to create a slip stitch in the first stitch that you made. And tighten it again, and chain once. And now, beginning in that space where you are, I'm not sure if you could actually see it on here, but basically where that chain is, you're going to single crochet twice. And then single crochet twice in the next four stitches. In that last one, you're just going to single crochet once. Now create a slip stitch to that chain space. Chain once. And now beginning in that same chain space, you're going to single crochet twice. And then single crochet once in the next stitch. And we're going to do that four more times, so twice in the next one. once in the one after that. Twice in the next one. Once in the one after that. Twice in the next one. 
once in the one after that, twice in the next one, then once in the one after that, twice in the next one, Create a slip stitch, chain once, and here is how it should look so far, if you can kind of see that. And now again, beginning in that same space where you are, you're going to single crochet twice. once in each of the next two stitches. So that's one and then one. And you're going to do that four more times. So twice in the next one. Once in the following. <coughs> and then once in the one after that. Twice in the next one. once in the next one, once in the one after that, twice in the next one, once in the next one, once in the one after that, twice in the next one, once in the one after that, and then once in the one after that. And now in the next stitch, you're going to single crochet two times. And then once in the one after that. And then you're going to create a slip stitch to that chain space. And then chain once. And beginning in that same space, you're going to single crochet two times. and then once in each of the next three stitches. So that's one, one, and one. And you're going to do that four more times. So it's twice in the next one, and then one, one, and one twice in the next one, 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 and one, twice in the next one, 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 and one, twice in the next one. next stitch you're going to single crochet two times and then once in the following two stitches and then link back with a slip stitch chain once and beginning in that same space you're going to single crochet once in the first six stitches. Now chain once and turn it. And then you're going to combine these first two stitches. single crochet once in the next two stitches and 
combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once in each of those four stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once in each of the two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine those two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once. And then you can fasten off. And what you can do is basically leave enough of an end strand so that you can use it to weave in this triangle. So I'm going to go a bit long so that I can use my 5 inch weaving needle to do that. But for now, you can leave this tail and we're going to insert the hook into one of the stitches right next to the point. So not the one that we actually used over here but the next one. And we're going to attach the yarn. basically going to do the same thing. So we're going to single crochet once in the first six stitches. this little guy so that I don't have to take him to the next row. And once you've single crocheted six times across, you're going to chain once and turn it. And then combine the first two stitches. Single crochet once in each of the next two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn. Single crochet once in each of the four stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once in each of the two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine those two stitches. Chain once and turn it single crochet once and fasten off and again leave a bit of a tail now attach the yarn to the next stitch
single crochet six times across. Once you've finished that, you can chain once and turn it, and then combine the first two stitches. Single crochet once in each of the next two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. single crochet once in each of the four stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it single crochet once in each of the two stitches, chain once and turn it, combine those two stitches, chain once and turn it, single crochet once, and then fasten off. So now you should have three points. Now you're going to attach the yarn to the next stitch. Single crochet six times across. Chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches. Single crochet once in each of the next two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it single crochet once in each of the four stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches. Combine the last two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once in each of the two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Combine those two stitches. Chain once and turn it. Single crochet once and then fasten off. Now insert the hook into the next stitch and attach that yarn. Let's 
single crochet six times across. chain once and turn it. Combine the first two stitches, single crochet once in each of the next two stitches, combine the last two stitches, chain once and turn it, single crochet once in each of the four stitches, chain once and turn it, combine the first two stitches, combine the last two stitches, chain once and turn it, single crochet once in each of those two stitches, chain once and turn it, combine those two stitches, chain once and turn it, single crochet once, and then fasten off. And now you should have a star. So let's just grab a better background. So this is the one that I finished, and you can see that the yarn that I'm using now, Charisma, is much bigger than the other one because this one I believe was impeccable but for a video's sake it's much faster to crochet with the charisma yarn so I'm using that one so my symbol for the video is going to be a bit larger than this one but that is how it should look so far so you just have the white star with these five strands coming off of it and that is it for part one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you come back for part two, and I hope that you come back for other tutorials that I'm doing and other videos. So once again, thank you, and until next time, take care.